Alrighty, everybody, let's get straight into the settings. But before we start, I just want to say, again, I just want to clarify, this is not a settings video that's going to boost your FPS or increase your FPS. This is just my personal settings, specific to my computer I have. Just the settings that I like my game to look nice. So I have nice settings on, I don't have any low settings on. So if you have a low spec um, rig, I would not copy these settings. Just, just thought I'd clarify that. So to start off with, default region, wherever you're from, chuck it on. I'm from Sydney, oh, my region is Sydney, so that is on. Now, um, language as well, whatever language you want. English for me, uh, lag compensation. So these two here, lag compensation and auto routing, they have always been default for me, I've never changed them. So I keep them on that. Same with high tick rate, that was added a few updates ago. I'm not too sure what it is. But I have it on apparently it's uh, I heard people talking about it's good to have on so I've just kept it on um, my resolution is on two I don't really see a difference between one and two but then again there would be some slight difference when I record when I stream I like everything to look very crisp and nice so I have it on two frame cap zero because I don't want I don't want my frame rate to be capped at anything I want it to be on on as max maximum maximum so whatever it can get to oh, i like it on that so i keep it there i have it on my my aspect ratio is just my native which is 1920 by 1080 it's just my base res so i keep it on that low spec off i this just annoys me having that only showing the upper body i don't really like that no textures map detail not too sure i mean no uh, no textures i have off not too sure what that does to be honest um didn't even know that was a setting but it's off Map detail, I usually have it on, but lately I've noticed when I have it on, the floors, like this kind of floor here, is very rigid and it it looks it looks really weird. I'm, I, might have, I might be able to show you later, but it makes the map look really weird. So I've just turned it off for now, but it is usually on. That is usually on, but for some reason it doesn't look doesn't look good at the moment. I'll try and show you after. Particles, as in like this stuff, I have that on. I reckon that looks good very good on the map i have that set to 500 seems like a good number you know i don't really need it max so i have it on 500 render distance as well obviously if it's on 100 you rent you'll be able to render more chunks in from the distance but all the maps are kind of kind of small and whatnot so i just i just leave it on 50 i don't see a difference but maybe on 50 it might boost the fps i'm not too sure so i have it on um shadows Shadows on, soft shadows on, high red shadows on, dynamic shadows on, M and so all shadows on. I like my map to have shadows. I think the shadows are a great addition to the game. It makes it look very clean. Like I said, I want my game to look as crisp as it can get. So I have all of those set to on. Ambient shading on as well. Bullet trails on. My muzzle flash. Um, when someone you shoot, it makes like a little flash. I have that off. I personally don't like that. But this is that's a personal setting there. Same with sniper flap on or off i have it off i don't think the sniper flap looks good text animations is on so to make my weapon have an animation on it any weapon that has an animation if you keep text anim texture animation on you will get the animation so i keep that on same with object animations if you want some objects to have animations keep that on as well screen shake not a fan of screen shake so i have that off weapon shine on i like my gun to shine it makes it look very nice this is a big one lighting if you if you put it on low you will notice the difference when you have it to high it is a major difference it makes the game look amazing uh, so i oh, that's what i want so i have it on then again guys if you guys do have a low res um i mean a low spec um rig i would definitely have this low and i would definitely have all of these turned off just to make your game run at the max but i like my settings high just to make my game look very nice so that's why i have that on my UI scale is usually on about the lowest or at least 0.5, but because I'm making this, I'm going to keep it up so you guys can see. Show UI on, um, use old scoreboard. I, I like the new scoreboard a lot. I think it's a lot cleaner, so I keep this off so I can have it. Disable rarity animations, not too sure what that is, but it's off. I like dynamic HBars, dynamic HP bars. I think it looks clean. I don't want to show hit indicators. Uh, so that you can if you have this on it'll sh um, you can set set it to whatever color you wish But I have it off. I do not need that on show damage I don't really want to show the damage. I have the H bar the HP bar there. I like that off Obviously the more things you don't show like the more pop-ups and stuff you don't show 
um, will obviously increase your FPS by, it might be major, it might be a little bit, so I keep that off. Damage color purple, my whole, my whole setup is purple. I like everything to be purple. If I hit a critical, that's again for the hit indicator, but I don't have that, any of that on as well. So these won't come into effect. Damage scale, so when you do the damage again, whatever size you want the damage scale to be, I'm more of a everything on low, everything on low for this. I show the kill feed, I show the kill counter, I show the death counter, I don't show the score counter. So that's all the stuff up the top, up the top right over here, as you can tell the stonks. All of that, I like to show that, I like to know what streak I'm on, I like to know what death I'm on, I like to know how many kills I'm on. If I am get a spectator, I like to show that as well, my streak counter, all on. I like to show my ping and my FPS, both of those I like to see. Uh, movement speed, I don't have that on. These two speed things are just default. I don't want to show medals, then again, that's pers personal preference. So, I don't want, when you get a kill, if you get a headshot, a headshot medal, I don't like it to show that. Um, it boosts more, if the more things you have off, the higher your FPS is going to be in the end. So I have that off. Name tag. This thing is a major one. I have it on everyone. I have the opacity to 0.5 and the name style tag. I don't like to show names or health or anything. I just show health. I don't like I don't I don't want to see their names. I think this looks clean. Very clean. So I don't don't show names, just show my opponents and team's health. That's all. I don't have the health number on as well. I just it just it's just a health bar. That's all it is for me. My name tag, health color. So my team's green, red's enemies red. Pretty self, pretty self-explanatory. Experience bar down the bottom, which is not, is it on? It might be broken. I, I know it wasn't working recently. So that obviously XP is usually a yellow color in most games. So I've just kept it as that. I might actually change it to purple. This purple looks good. I might change it to that. Um, the opacity. I might also put that down to 0.5 as well. I have never played around with these settings. These is fairly new. So yeah, let's keep that. Uh, my chat, I have my chat always on. Um, profanity filter off. Obviously, people swear and shit. I don't, like, I swear myself. I don't really need a profanity filter. I show messages and I show unboxings. As you can tell, people are unboxed. KR, it shows me. It's good, good fun to see what some some people unbox. It's I like it. I like it. I like to see when people unbox unobtainables. But that does happen. That has happened a few times, actually. Um, the opacity is on 0.5, as you can tell. If I put up to 1, it's dark. 0.5, it's kind of grayed out. I like I like my opacity down. Um, the chat background opacity is just on 1. My outline text, I keep that on. Chat height on 3. Chat time is on 0. Um, my crosshair, you can change it to many things. You can have your custom one, your default one. I have it on image, and I have this. So, my crosshair... It's just a Discord, it's just an image. I have that on one, I have my crosshair set to one opacity. And always show, I always show it. Gameplay, so this is my in-game sensitivity. I've actually upped my sensitivity. I haven't changed it, I haven't played. But um, I have it on five. So I have my sensitivity, my X sensitivity, 0.5. I'm, my DPI is also 400, so the lowest it can be. I have my X sensitivity on 0.5, Y sensitivity, 0.5. My aim sensitivity, 0.45, and my y, so aim Y sensitivity, 0.45. So very low, very low. Slide control, I like to have it on 6. I've always stuck by this. When they added slide control, it feels, feels clean to me. Scroll direction, I also have on. Not too sure what that does as well, but it's on. Streamer mode, I don't need that. Challenger mode, don't need that. And invert, nobody ever wants to invert. Um, these are just controller settings. I don't use controllers. So we're gonna skip those. Audio settings. This isn't. This is obviously. This is personal personal preference as well. I like most of my gameplay to be low when I'm streaming and stuff. I don't want my gunshots to be louder than my mic because people people it's gonna it's just gonna interfere with everything. So I have this. This is my audio settings. You can change it to what you want, but mine is this. Not too loud. Not too low. These are the kind of settings a lot of people ask me about. A lot of people ask me, what's my field of view, my weapon, FOV, why, what, where are my guns placed? So, here it all is, my weapon, FOV, I mean, my field of view, 110, pretty average. Most most games have 110, and I've always stuck by 110 in every game that you can change your FOV. Uh, my weapon, FOV, is on 90. I feel like it's good there. If it's on the same there, it, it does look pretty nice there. It shows the whole gun, but I have recently liked it on 90 so i keep it on 90 
Looks good. Looks good. Next up, we have the weapon bobbing. The 0.7. That's how much your weapon bops when you slide, jump, do all that stuff. 0.7. My leaning is on three. Again, personal preference as well. So to get your gun placed in this position here, where it is here, just follow where my weapon X, weapon Y, and weapon Z is. Here it is here. Weapon X is on 1.5. Weapon Y offset is on 1.7, Weapon Z offset is on 1.5, and then my ADS Y offset is 0.7. So that's if I have an AK, when I aim, it, it's a bit lower than usual so you can still see my crosshair in the opening. My aim, my weapon aim animation I have on, so when I use AK, when I aim down, the gun does not disappear. I mean, um, you actually see the gun's aim. Unlike if you have that off, it's just gonna, as soon as you aim, the gun will just disappear and it will zoom in. I like to have it on. I do not hide my weapon on ADS, so when I use um, AK, when I aim down, you're looking through the gun's crosshair. I like that. I always have show hands off. I don't really I don't really see the point of showing hands. It's going to boost FPS by maybe. Maybe it might be the slightest bit, but I prefer just showing the gun. I have show primary, usually off. I like it off. I also have a com uh, control. Um, if you head on into controls here, you can actually change your weapon visibility. Weapon visibility, so mine is mouse 4, so when I press mouse 4, it disappears. I like to have it off. I feel like I play a lot cleaner with it off. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Right here. I have show secondary on, and I like to sh always show my, my knife. Always, always show the knife. You always got to flex the knife, especially when it's a sexy crowbar like this. I have that put set to on. Same with secondary set to on. So, this is my HUD. As you can tell, my health is purple. I have everything set to purple so you can't get this stuff purple at the moment like this is just a resource swapper that was made so that hence why this is all purple you cannot get that at the moment i don't think but everything else like damage overlay everything is purple for me so my hud health high is low health low purple again this is all up to you as well whatever you want um i have my pop-up score on the score color is purple as well the shadow i have a shadow on it looks cleaner my pop-up score scale is on 0.7, my pop-up score X offset is 5, pop-up score Y offset 4.4, so that's just where the score pops up on the screen once you get a kill. So once you get a kill and it comes up with plus 100, that's just where it is. Um, my saturation in game is on 2, my saturation UI is on 2, color in game 0, color hue 0, and vignette which is like, it's like, I don't know how to explain this. See how it's, it's a bit darker on the outside? I have that set to off, I'd say 1, 0, I do not need that. Kill feed limit, how many kills come up in the kill feed, mine's on 10, seems pretty normal. Um, bullet trace, so when you shoot the bullet, it will show you what colour that is, and mine is purple, as in again, like I said, purple everything. I have load mods on, and auto load mods, so whatever mod that I put on, the um, it will auto load it every time I load the game. Every time I load the game, and usually I use Crucial, it smooths the map, looks very nice. I usually have that on. Um, next up, we have scope borders. So if you have that on and you use your gun to scope, oh, oh yeah, because I have a scope off. Um, usually it's like it'll it'll black out the whole it'll black out the whole screen except your scope. I find that disgusting. I, I have that off. My scope image. Um, what I do here is I just have a normal file, and if you take away one one number, one anything in it. It will just show your crosshair. So if, but if you have the full file, it will actually show your scope. But I like to show just the crosshair. So if you chuck in your scope image, chuck in your um, your file, I mean your link, and take take one number, one anything away, and you will be able to have just a crosshair showing. Radical do not have my again change up to what you want. I do not have that on, so I don't need that. My match end message is just just usual gg new video out on youtube ted's yt's brings in some brings in some new people into the channel it's really nice to have that profile image is just my my profile right there or if you back out bottom left just ted's yt just my logo there you can add whatever you want for these but if you be in the description below as well as my settings file unlimited fps major major turn that on turn that on not too sure what this discord rpc does so i just have it off Window capture, I don't window capture, I screen capture, so I don't need that on. But yeah, Th that is my settings. Um, again, the file will be down the bottom in the description. I'll have a paste bin file, so you can just copy the settings there. Also, my Discord, my I, uh, every time I update my settings, 
I update it onto my Discord. So I'll bring up my Discord really quick. If you come over here to my Discord, you will see a section called Crunker Station. Here we have everything Crunker related in here. When I do my chat settings videos, we have the chat settings here. This is where I get the settings from to do those videos. So if you guys want to be a part of that, all you have to do is head on over to my Discord. The link will be in the description as well. And you can paste your settings in here and I use them for a video. But this is what we're after here. We have cr Ted's Crunker settings. Every time I change my settings, I update my settings file here. And I, I put the date that I updated it as well. So if you guys would like to be up to date with what my settings are, you just head on over to my Discord here and they'll all be here. All of them will always be here. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this has been requested. It was, it was highly requested that you guys wanted to know all my settings. So here it is. Here it is. Again, this is not for this is not a settings video to boost FPS. This is just my custom custom settings. So if you guys want to keep up to date with them, head on over to my Discord. I update them every time I change. And yeah, again, I want to thank you guys. We've reached 7.5k. We got on the Crunker free spin. Um, that majorly helps. Our subscribers have been fluctuating. We've got up to 8k, down to 7k, up to 7.5, down to 7 up to 7.6 so it's fluctuating a lot so at the moment we're sitting on 7.5 we might stay there we might go down i'm not too sure but thank you all to everyone who's new here thank you guys for subscribing i do appreciate it um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this settings video have a good day i'll see you all in the next video peace out